I thought I'd share with you how I do high numbers of toes to bar. It's not the fastest toes to bar technique because there are some faster scooping toes to bar that can rep out more per second. But for me, it's all about maximizing the amount of reps that I can do unbroken versus how absolutely fast I do them. Step one, get yourself some good grips. You need good grips, whether you use Bear Complex, Victory, whatever. We gotta start with some grips. You're on the wrong hands. If you want to know more about wearing grips, why to wear grips, how to use grips, I have a video and I'll link that here so that you can watch my video on grips. For toes to bar, what I'm trying to do with my grips, with my hands just like this, my fingers are not in the holes, I want to get my hand up and over that bar as much as I can, get a nice false grip here so that this grip is pulling on my wrist. That's going to help me hang on to the bar a lot longer. This is a grip intensive movement, but if I can limit the amount of intensity on this grip by allowing it to be pulling on my wrist a bit. So here's what a grip would be like without a false grip very fingers on top right there. And what I really want, put my palm up there with my palm false grip way up on the bar. All right, next, when I do toes to bar, I'm gonna get up and start that kip by pushing my chest through and then using a quick pull in my shoulders to go from this open position to this closed hollow position, swinging my legs through the bottom to get those toes up to the bar on the first one. Getting the second toes to bar is really where you establish that rhythm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump up there, I'm gonna establish my rhythm, and I'm gonna use my chest and my shoulders as much as I can on these toes to bar. I am using my core, keeping my legs straight, tight, together to bring those toes up to the bar. Then once they come up on the bar, I'm going to relax as much as possible on the way down. Once I get to my shoulders through position, that's when I snap again and I do all the work. In my opinion, all the work is right there at the bottom of the kip. Then it's up, touch the bar, rest. Big kip, rest. Big kip, rest. So it, it has an interval feel to it. When you start getting tired on toes to bar, your grip is gonna start to slip a little bit. So we can re-up that grip once or twice in a big set. If you start doing it too much, just jump down, shake off your hands, get a good grip and get going again. But in the middle of some reps, you can re-grip a bit. The last thing that we can do when you're working on those really, really big sets and you've just got a couple more reps to do, that's when you can start to use the knee up and kick the bar technique at the very end. This is just the last couple of reps on some really big sets. Knees up, touch the bar, swing. Knees up, touch the bar. Getting high reps on toes to bar just takes some practice. Focus on getting a really good grip on the bar. Find yourself resting during part of the toes to bar as you descend. A quick snap, getting your toes up to the bar. The snap should literally propel your toes so that you're not fighting to get them to the bar, really just allowing them to fly up to the bar. And then when you get really tired, knees up, kick your toes to the bar. A good gymnastics toes to bar requires your feet to be together, heels together, knees together. All of those create nice efficiencies in the movement. When we're looking to get an extra one or two reps in big sets, being tight, being efficient is a key to doing. Practice those toes to bar. Yeah, see you next time.